Tony Tatsila and Eddie Montana slam Idris Abdul Karim. Hmm. The drama continues as singers Tony Tatsila and Eddie Montana, aka Eddie Remedy, have slammed their former Remedies group member Idris Abdul Karim over the revelations he made during the now viral Honest Bunch podcast interview. In the interview, Idris, while sharing his grass to grace story, recalled the time he was starting out with Eddie and how they went to Ilori to perform, which was the place they met a desperate singer named Tony Tetwila, who eventually joined their group. Sharing a video of his reaction to the interview, Tony Tetwila wrote, and I quote, I am highly disappointed in this guy. He's a bloody liar. How could a grown man like this be telling lies? Now God will punish who they lie, end quote. Let's take a look at the clip. You know, so well, I think I gave you some money to go shopping, buy food, stuff like that. Two months later, the song was all over Nigeria. But again, I called me and Eddie. And I said, You guys should go to Lori and go and perform. When you get to Lori, come back. You have an appointment at Dezade Plaza. <laughs> so we went to Lori, and that was where we met to the festival. Oh. Um, so that was how Tony joined us, oh. you know. Oh. So Tony joined us because we needed to record more songs, mm -hmm. and the mom had to be there. And there. So I didn't want to sing desperately in front of all this. Mm -hmm. So okay, come now, let's do it. Oh. That was how we became three. Oh. So when we came back, we now went to the Zadi Plaza. Um, it was British tobacco. Eddie Remedy, on the other hand, in an interview with Daddy Freeze on Instagram Live, stated that contrary to Idris Abdul Karim's claim about creating the Remedies and recording their breakout hit single Shakomo, it was him who owned the song and featured Idris on it and also founded the group. Eddie Remedy added that he recorded Shakomo while still a student in Yaba Tech with the song blowing up in universities across Lagos and the Southwest. He further revealed that he was the one who took Idris to Raypar's studio, contrary to Idris' claim of taking him to Raypar to record Shakomo. Eddie Remedy also addressed Idris' outburst at Burner Boy over the Grammy winner's statement that nobody paved the way for him. According to Eddie Remedy, Idris Abdul Karim had no right to tackle Burner Boy because he, Idris, didn't support anyone but only fought for himself. He added that everyone should instead thank Burner Boy for taking Afrobeats to the next level. <coughs> okay. 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 So, you know, <laughs> it is just very interesting to me that Idris could come out and say one thing and there is frenzy everywhere. everywhere. Idris is who he thinks he is, actually, <laughs> because... How do you say that somebody is an old artist and then he just grants one interview? We've seen old artists grant interviews and mm -hmm. just interviews don't even go anywhere. He just opened his mouth like this and everywhere was like, what? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I believe that people have their stories. It might just be that that is because sometimes when I'm not making any excuses for Idris here because sometimes you might have forgotten the way some things happen happened because it's been long. Yeah. And then you just say something. It might not be right. It might not be accurate. Maybe mm -hmm. if other people were there, they might be like, oh, no, 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 no. And you say, oh, yeah, yeah, it's true. I remember, I remember, I remember. I don't know whether that's how it if went. If that is the situation. You know, if that is the situation. <laughs> and I don't know whether it was on purpose that Idris said what he said and other people, you know, are against him. But I think there is something about Idris that everybody is coming out, even is, um, you know, group people and they're saying, that you know he is not telling the truth and all of those so about the burner boy thing mm -hmm. i did not even think that idris said anything derogatory or abusive about mm -hmm. burner boy okay if he said that some people paved the way we have always said this in fact some of the times that you even see this artist you know uh new artist or new cats <laughs> new cats <laughs> receive awards sometimes they uh, they pay homage to, to some of those people and they yet. mention names and mm -hmm. all of this. So even if somebody does not help somebody directly, mm -hmm. as somebody who is a grown-up as that other person too, I don't think that that is the angle you should bring it from. You know, for somebody um, going ahead of you, doing something before you, you might never have met that person, but that does not stop you from like, ah, Baba, 
I respect you. Thank you so much. You know, you went ahead of us and did this thing before we came and all of this. So I think it is all about perspective, all of these fights that people are fighting about. I think it is nothing actually at the end of the day. It is the way you see it. Because if Brother Boy is going to say his own, the reason he's saying what he's saying, it, it would have its points. If, you know, Idris says his own, it has its own points. Point. So he now generated a whole lot of arguments that, you know, even Ayoshunaya yesterday, I saw it, he wrote a piece and then he um, interviewed um, Lexi Du and he was asking who wrote Shakomo and Lexi Du was not in that um, clip, it was not hitting it, it was not getting to the answer of the question, like please, the answer is who actually, you know, wrote <laughs> Shakomo, it was just going, 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 I'm like, please, just let us know, what are you talking about, because he was talking about, you know, um, 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 What's oh, um, um, Jasmine Olofi? I think he mentioned Jasmine Olofi or somebody like that, you know, writing something and they're like, oh, they have never even heard this type of tune before. And then they were mm -hmm. listening to a particular, you know, song of MC Light or some, mm -hmm. something, and then they now jumped on something. And, you know, so see, these are grown ups, but I really, really like that in this day and age, considering the year that they did their song, this people, Idris came out and Idris Everywhere. Thought, ah. He took a step. We hear da da da. He took another one. You heard? Okay, so yeah, but like you said, um, I mean, everybody's perspective yes. is different. There's Idris's truth, yeah. and Tetula's truth, and yeah. then the real truth of who carries who where <laughs> and who has which. You so. get. It is what it is. It is what it is. I don't know what to say to this one. How ah. won't come? Uh, you know, settle this kind of fight. Mm.